Giddy up, guys. Here we go. This is rat number seven. Um, number six just came off the board. It was 21 inches long, and um, it came out to 2.20 slash 2.25. It came out right on both, so right in between the two. So I'll go with 2.20 because I usually go a little less to so be on the safe side, but that's what he weighed, and here's the rat. Pretty rat. Got my first initial cuts in. I tied to the boat, held in the um, or lock on the boat and cut it, and the or lock on the boat and cut the base out. So the base is already ready to go. Make sure I get this board out of the way. That's the wrap board. All right, get the comb out of the way over here. Make sure this is, I touched up, it's real, real sharp. Oh, it's sharp enough, but let's touch it up one more time. This is one of those just Smith pocket sharpeners. Never use the coarse side. You're, it sh sh shaves up, what am I trying to say? It shards or shaves the metal right off. Always use the fine side, the ceramic side. Never use the uh, coarse side, because that says carbide cutters will slice, the, sh it'll carve the metal right off your blade. It will, you gotta take a dull blade that's not, like take the back of this knife and sharpen it, you do on the carbide side. But um, yeah, don't do that because uh, you'll literally shave metal off and ruin your whole geometry of the knife. So people give it, people give these a lot of crap because they use the wrong side and they think, oh, we're going this side, going that side. And, like the instructor saying, it ruins it. I only go on the fine side, which is the uh, the um, oh, what is it? Fine side, which is a ceramic side. The other side is a, a carbide side, which will literally shave your geometry. And ruin your geometry of your knife and ruin your knife forever. No horrible on knife should you use a carbide side. This just says fine and coarse. I know from my other had a carbide. Carbide? I think carbide side and then a um, ceramic side. The ceramic side used all the time. It turns out just fine. Keep that nice and hair pop sharp if you can. It's hard to do on a ceramic rod, but I don't have a ceramic rod, so that's what we got there. The little pocket sharpener. It comes with a little so called diamond rod, but it's a cheap diamond rod. I don't use it. They actually claim it's for the serrations of knives. So here we go. Get this one going here. He's a wet son of a gun, but he was off. He was off in the side channel. On um, one of my last videos on the when I talked about the 18T, you can see that first trap I checked. It was on that side channel right there. One by where I first stand instead of the 220 off the side. It was in the, or 280 off the side. It was in the 16. It's the, the side channel there where I put the bait. But the bait washed away. It flooded into the bait's gone. It was just a blind set now. So that's the stomach side. Let's start on the back so we can get a good general idea and make sure we do this right here. Start on the back side here. Get your fingers up in there. Work your fingers up in there the best you can. There's a spine so I know I'm on the back. So should I get that going? There we go. Now we got a little working area. This is a lot bigger rat, this guy. So it's a lot bigger. He's uh, one of the bigger rats that we've, we've gotten this season. So we'll slowly work with him. Make sure we do it all right, the right way this time, the best we can. Well, that's the way I want, the way I want to do it at least. Make sure we get up in here like this. My finger back up in that notch. Is there? Finger came out the other side. So now what we do? Slowly. Peel the meat away from the leg. Go up in here further, get my hand all the way up in there. Slowly rip the meat away from the body. Best we can, way up in there, up towards the shoulder blades. My hand was all the way up in there like that. So we're getting the rat up in there. Make sure we clean that side off. Make sure there's no, um, you know, there's basic needs. And take the knife, flip it over. Go from one side of the legs. Around the legs. Go around the other leg. Flip it over. 
Finish around the back side. Shouldn't take that long for me. I've done a few of these already. A uh, few over this season. So once you get the gist of it, it's not that hard. It's pretty darn easy. As long as you take it nice and easy. That's awesome. Make sure we disconnect the ball hole here, best we can. There's the piece axe. I don't get messed with the piece axe too much. A little bit of pee in them. It'd be kind of cool to say muskrat pee and uh, use that set, but not too worried about that, honestly. Because, to be honest with you, I don't do a lot of pee sets for muskrat. I never even heard of it. Maybe in one of those old Hal Sullivan books, maybe in one of those old muskrat books. Old timers did it, but I never did. I never had a need for the uh, rat pee. Now, raccoon pee, I could. But it's just too cumbersome. I'd just rather buy it. You know, it's just. Oh, I forgot to check. Yeah, it's, it's a, uh, it's a male, I think. So. I'm just trying to take my time with this best I can. Without getting into the stomach line too much. I want to avoid. Oh man, he's stinky. Might be getting in the stomach a bit. Let's go from the back and try to get this best I can. Um, let's, so now I'm on the back, I wanna stretch this out a bit. Take the knife, go down the back, get a little bit of the leather on there, come out, make sure I get the leather on there, a little flap of leather. I got the flap of leather. Well, the reason I keep the leather on there is because it's great to tack into and uh, doesn't have a lot of don't have a lot of damage with that. Um, well, damage, whatever I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to get this done. Um, trying to make the video at the same time. Trying to get this done for you guys, quick, semi quick, so it's not a long video. I might come in here and edit some stuff out of this video and just slowly take my time, but or make it in a three part video. Last video was an hour long, so I did all of it. I did the whole shebang. But uh, that wasn't my intention. Oh, right into the lungs there, guts. That's gonna go boom. Stinky. Stinky son of a gun. Grab the stump line and pull it down. Best I can. There we go. I think I saved the stomach. Uh, best I could. A little getting a little. Ooh, that's a bloody mess. That's a bloody mess. Oh, it's bloody. It's gonna be a bit uh, gross. Got my finger through there. A little hole going on. Get out there. Little bit of tail leather. There we go. So what you want on there is a little tail leather. Give something to tack to and when you trim it all up, make it real neat, nice, and pretty for the ladies. Just kidding. Make it real pretty. Um, it will uh, come out real nice. Side open. Try. That side up there. The stomach up there. If I can. Now I'm gonna go in here and get the pliers. Try to get this quick done for you guys. 
But when I get the hat, I gotta slow way down. I gotta take the hat nice and easy, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Take the hat here, cut the thing off there. Get that up there, cut that off. Take the knife, boom, boom. The feet, take the pliers back. Nate Cage and gentlemen, he's coming along all right. So, not the worst case scenario, ladies and gentlemen. This will stomach open a little bit, but ooh, he got whacked pretty good. Fingers up in there. What I did when I got the stomach, and I cut the stomach open. I grabbed the stomach line and pulled the stomach line away from the fur. So the stomach lining ended up staying with the guts. And therefore I can get above the stomach lining. I did that. Gotta be careful, I don't put a hole in it. That's the jaw right there, so. There's the ear. Pull the ear up. A little tiny hole with the ear, get a little pinhole. Don't even think there's a hole in that right ear. Pull it down a bit. Okay, I'm gonna slow way down here. Because I gotta take my time here around the eyes. Make sure I know where the eyes are at. Okay, I have to put a pin, little pinhole in them down by the stomach. Okay, let's sharpen this up real quick. Yeah, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Not missing the dole in it. There we go. The eyes were small eye holes. You know, you can't make the eyes much smaller than the, the eye itself, so I mean, pretty good. Let's get down here by the cheeks. Be careful here. Put a hole in it, but try to go way, way too damn fast.
There we go. Done. Put a little pinhole in them there, a little hole in the neck, but not too bad. What did I do that in? 15 minutes, not bad. Not bad, not bad. There he is, all, all uh, skinned. Can't show it too close. You guys are going to get sick of these videos where I'm close like this, but I can't, I can't get much closer. If I get too close, I'll start getting dinged. And, uh, not making money yet, but I also don't want to get my account taken away. So bear with me until we are allowed to. So that's Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a good one.